United Healthcare's mission is to help people live healthier lives, and by being able to invest in organizations in the community, we can really help do that. In 2017, we invested $100,000 in four organizations. These organizations are working every day to improve their communities and the lives of people with disabilities, improve their independence, gain access to care, gain employment opportunities, and all these things are really impacting people's lives, not just health care, but their whole health and well-being. The ARC Wisconsin was started by family members of persons with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Our mission is really increasing awareness, advancing the rights of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and improving overall quality of life. Of the 50,000 people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in Wisconsin, most are living with families, and many of those family caregivers are over age 60, and they don't have a plan in place for the future. Almost every time I meet with a group of families, or even meeting individually with one family, they ask me, what happens to my loved one when I'm gone? We committed to developing a future planning network. So the United Healthcare Grant helped us to train 25 professionals, and they reached more than 120 families in just a few short months, and expanded their reach and future planning to 33 towns and communities across the state. I learned a lot of skills and information that I was able to pass along to the families that I work with. A lot of people think that future planning is just about finances. Do I have my finances in order? It's about so much more than that. So we need to really think about where do they want to live? Where do they want to work? And we need to take some steps and have a plan in place. Having a project that we can tap into where we will actually be able to go somewhere someday and have it scheduled as a meeting in my calendar, we're starting now, is important. And every time I tell anyone what we're doing, they say, oh, I've got to do that. And so, you know, we're trying to get it done. What was most surprising for me was the great need that is out there and how many families are really concerned about this and they just didn't know where to start. And having the investment of United Healthcare. Um, was just so invaluable. It's been a really successful project and just very grateful to who have had the support to get it started. The mission of Easter Seals is to help the world see disabilities differently. Yeah, have a great day, my man. And a big part of what we do is employment or vocational focused programs, so programs that are helping people connect with jobs and to build skills and connect with their community. One of the core things that we're teaching people is really those soft skills. So those things that employers are looking for, things like attendance, problem solving, flexibility, teamwork, communication. We received a grant from United Healthcare to be able to support some of our vocational programs and specifically to expand some of our programs. One being our catering training program. We train individuals with disabilities in food service. First food preparation, and customer service and sanitation. <laughs> I see you, buddy. How you doing? The skills that the individuals right. learn in this process will help All them right. to gain employment in the community. That's really the goal. This is <laughs> Chad. Chad uh, has been with me now for a year. We've had a good time, huh? Yeah, yeah. You're killing it. It's not like work when you're in here, is it? We hang out. Yeah, yeah. we hang out. Yeah. Yeah. He's come a real <laughs> long way from when I started to where he is now. And uh, super proud of him. He's doing a great job. Chad entered our program probably a year and a half ago. Great guy. Had some communication trouble early. Would shut down at times. Recently, though, he has come out of his shell. And he's become a whole new person. Chad was able to complete a 90-day training period in the catering program. He had gone to Waukesha County Technical College and secured permanent employment based off of, of the skill set that he had. I think the permanent employment for Chad has really helped him blossom. Now when you see Chad interact with others, his personality really shines. He's funny and he makes jokes and he watches out for his team. What do you do here? Dishes, yeah. What else? You do more than dishes. What else do you do? You make meringue? 
You know, what are you doing? Yeah. We really have a good time, don't we, Jack? Yeah, we have a great time. We really have a good time. Yes, we do. <laughs> Last year, we were able to place 127 people in employment. So employers are looking for people. They're looking for talent. They're looking for people to fill their jobs. And we have those people. Since 1979, Independence First has been providing services to individuals with disabilities. Our mission is to empower people to be independent in their homes and communities. My brother's Dennis Kelly, and he was born with cerebral palsy. Hello. He's been very independent hey. his whole life, and we're going to keep him there as long as we can, keep him out in the world. Are you comfortable with your controller being on that hand versus the other hand? I am comfortable. I was lucky for sure that I could use for the working rights. I just needed a new, new chair. The Mobility Store provides used equipment to individuals throughout the entire state of Wisconsin. It is sent to a correctional center, and then that equipment is cleaned up. It's made sure that it's safe. It's put back together correctly. It helps to get around because I need independence. I want to do things myself. Independence First received a grant from United Healthcare, and that grant really allowed us to put more equipment in the hands of people who couldn't potentially afford it even at reduced cost. We had $300 grants from United Healthcare which was a total surprise. It was wonderful, a big surprise, so thank you very much. Because of the United Healthcare grant, we were able to help 36 people with their mobility needs. I was just never able to get around more. I'd go to the store and go to church or the library. Yeah, it keeps me tonight. We're just really happy he stayed in a power chair. It makes a huge difference, it really does gives folks the opportunity to have access to equipment that they need at a fraction of the cost, and they know it's safe, they know it is fit to them, and can help them still be independent. Life Navigators was formed back in 1949. Our mission is to improve the quality of life for kids and adults with disabilities, their family, and the greater community through information, education, and life planning services. Life Navigators was so honored to receive one of the four grants from United Healthcare. Our grant specifically focused on a program to really help those families think about the future. Today we are going to have our Coffee Connections group, which is a group specialized for aging caregivers. What I wanted to do today to start out is to pick some topics. We do a round table discussion and offer education and the opportunity for community and rebuilding connections between families. What is available? What are right, okay. We've had numerous discussions between the two of us about what's going to happen, you know, what are we doing, you know, we really when we need... we can't be there yeah, for Yeah, we really need some direction as far as uh, what's, what's available uh, for our son. Hearing from other parents what they're dealing with, finding services, finding respite, finding help. Well, people have access to supports, but are the supports what we want. Our program focuses on a lot of futures planning. We talk about our special needs trust, which is available for individuals with developmental disabilities. We talk about housing. We teach people how to use long-term care services properly and how to be a really strong advocate for their families. Through the United Healthcare grant, we're serving between 50 and 60 families in an array of services. Some of those services are delivered out in home, helping families through the planning process in a more intensive way and then the families that we're serving through Coffee Connections. Crystal has been wonderful. She's been an advocate coming to my son's apartment. We have our trust through them. I definitely need life navigating, I say. Definitely. It's a very appropriate name. The goal of providing services is to make sure that all individuals with disabilities live safe, happy, healthy lives in our community. By supporting these organizations, we can help them in their mission, and we can impact health and community at the same time. The grant is helping change lives for people. It's giving them opportunities. 
The United Healthcare grant really allowed us to spread the word to people throughout the Milwaukee area, but also in Madison and Brown counties. The grant and our partnership with United Healthcare is really touching consumers and individuals with disabilities. I think it's been invaluable. I think it will be sustainable. We want to be part of the solution, and being able to work with these organizations and invest in the community of Wisconsin is just a great thing to do. Thank you.